Do you need to test your PayPal payment form before it goes live? Let me show you how. Hey, Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and there are two different ways that you can test your PayPal payment form. Now, the first way is going to be literally going through the process and charging your card to verify that it works. The second way is through PayPal sandbox mode. PayPal Sandbox is the virtual testing environment that mimics PayPal's live mode. It works similarly to the live version, but without using real credit cards or live PayPal accounts. Now there are two different Sandbox account types, personal and business. If you'll be using the personal, you will need personal account credentials, but if you're using business, you're going to use business account credentials. For this example, I'm gonna be using the PayPal Pro payment integration, which means that I need business account credentials. So currently I am at developer.paypal.com. So once you're here up in the top right-hand corner, I'm gonna go ahead and choose my account. Then on the left-hand side, underneath sandbox, I'm gonna choose accounts. Then on the right-hand side, the blue button where it says create an account. From here, I'm gonna choose a business account type, then choose create and we can see my new sandbox account down at the very bottom, but it is at the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose these three dots and we're going to view edit account. Now we are in the second tab, the API credentials, and I'm gonna make sure to copy down all three of these, my username, my password, and my signature, because we're gonna need all three of these once we head back to Jotform. So now that I have those copied, I'm gonna head back over to Jotform and I already have a very simple form already created from scratch. I have their name and their email. So on the left-hand side under add form element, we're going to choose payments. Then I'm gonna do a quick search for PayPal Pro right here. And you can see over on the right-hand side, we have those three things that we copied down, the username, the password, and the signature. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste those in here now. Next up, we can choose the currency, and then we can also choose the payment type. So if we're selling products, if we're selling subscription, if we are utilizing a user-defined amount, or if we are collecting donations, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on sell products. But then we also have additional gateway settings at the bottom. And this is where we turn on the sandbox mode right down here. So it says sandbox mode does not charge real cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose to turn that on. I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom, and we're gonna go ahead and click continue. So you can see over here, it says sandbox mode is enabled for this payment. And then click here to disable. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new product, test product one. And then we'll make this one $10, then save. All right, good deal. I'm gonna head up to publish. Let's open a new tab. And there we go, there is our test product and we can utilize this just as we would and we will not be charged. Now, if you'd prefer to not utilize a sandbox mode, all you need to do is you can create your test product and just charge yourself a penny and then go through the process as if you were a customer utilizing your credit card. It's as simple as that. If you have any questions about testing your PayPal forms, let us know and I'll see you next time.